Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Be Jewel Book Reviews. My name is Tammy Shields and I have another great book to review today. That book is called May Among the Stars. May Among the Stars is written by Rhoda Elmad and it is illustrated by Stasia Barrington. So this book, May Among the Stars, is about Mae Jemison, the very first African-American woman to go into space. So if you have a little one that loves things like space and the planets and science, this book is Perfect for them. My granddaughter, Jaya Jewel, loves Mae Jemison. I taught her all about Mae Jemison as well as other African-American women when she was five years old, when I was just teaching her things about our history. And what I love about this is that even though she's 10, if you ask her what she wants to be when she grows up, she'll say a doctor, an astronaut, just like Mae Jemison. So this is why I always say representation is essential and it's important. So let's get to the review. What I will say about this book is that the illustrations are very eye-catching, engaging, and vibrant for little ones. So they will really love it. So I will definitely engage them right away. So let's find out about Little May. So it says Little May was a dreamer. They say that daydreamers never succeed, but Little May, oh, she was much different. So let's look at some of the illustrations. So it shows Little May She's just hanging out and daydreaming about all of the things that she'll be when she grows up. On the next page, it states, One day, May was working on an assignment for school about what she wanted to be when she grew up. What will you tell them, May? asked her parents. I will tell them that I want to see Earth because that is what she wanted to do. And this is here, a picture with her parents. And they're sitting down at the table and May is talking to them about her upcoming assignment in school. Then they kind of venture outdoors. This is Earth, May, her mother said. The flowers, the grass, the forest, and the mountains. We live on Earth. I know, May said, but I want to see Earth from out there, which is when she pointed to the moon and the stars. That's an amazing plan, little May, that you have to become an astronaut. That way you can see Earth from space. An astronaut? Do you think I can do that, asked May? So here's when they ventured outside, when her parents told her in order for her to see Earth, she needed to become an astronaut. So this is what she asked them, hey, can I do this? But I loved mom's response. Her response was, of course you can. If you dream it, if you believe in it, if you work hard for it, anything is possible. I absolutely love that message from her mom. If you dream it, believe it, work hard for it, anything is possible. And that is so true. Now, May was so excited about the fact that she can become an astronaut. She could not wait. She went upstairs after her dinner and she began to draw pictures of space. And she even made her own astronaut costume out of old orange curtains and cardboard boxes. I love this little girl already. <laughs> She's like a chip off the old block for me because I absolutely love, love making things out of cardboard boxes. So let's take a look at the illustrations. She's like my spirit animal. <laughs> so I love it. All right, so she talked to dad about it some more. She even talked to family members and friends, but most of all, she just could not wait to get to school and tell her teacher. So that's where I'll pick up from the review. In the classroom, Miss Bell told everyone to stand in a line on the rug. Today, we are going to share our dreams about the future. What do you want to be and what do you want to do when you grow up? So who wants to go first? But of course, all of the children were really excited and they started saying out loud what they wanted to be. Like a firefighter, a teacher, a football player, and a mom. But not May. May stuck to exactly what she wanted. I want to go to space and I want to be an astronaut. So let's look at the illustrations. So May stuck to her plan, guys. She wanted to become an astronaut and go up into space. So let's look at the next page. On the next page, all of her friends began to laugh at her response. 
May was really upset, but this is how her teacher responded to it. Miss Bell asked, May, are you sure you don't want to be a nurse? Nursing would be a good profession for someone like you. So her teacher said that nursing would be a good profession for someone like her. So this is where I'm going to stop, guys, because there's so many lessons to be learned inside of this book. And I really want you guys to get this book so you can see what else happens. Well, we kind of know what the future held for um, Little May. But at the same time, I think it's important for you guys to get the book and read the rest because it'll tell you how mom handled it and how May handled the situation. So here's the lessons that children learn inside of this book. Number one, they learn about this African-American woman in history. They learn about dreaming and having this great imagination and going after your dream. Because remember, mama said to her that as long as you dreamed it and you believed in it and you worked hard for it, anything was possible, right? The other lesson that's being taught here is as educators, we need to make sure that we kind of change our narrative when we're talking to children about what their imaginations are and the things that they're dreaming about. Because her teacher stated to her that she thought that she should become a nurse because that was perfect for a job like her. Now, there's nothing wrong with being a nurse. Nurses are essential workers. We need them, but we also need doctors and astronauts. So when children actually have these dreams of being something other than what we may imagine for them to be, then I think it's important that we encourage it, right? So one of Mae Jemison's famous quotes is never be limited by other people's limited imaginations. And I really do believe it's because of her personal experiences. So I recommend this book for our preschool age children all the way up to maybe first and second grade. I think it's a great book to have for your own personal library. I have it for my personal library, of course, because it's just a way I teach my granddaughter and my other grandchildren about African-American history and people in history that made a change or a difference. Like I said, she was the very first African-American woman to go into space. And that's something that's critically important to know and learn. So I would like for you guys to do something for me as always. Make sure that you hit like and subscribe and keep reading. I'll see you guys again soon on the next review.